Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. Okay, so we have the Three of Clubs, we have the Three of Cups, and we have the Five of Cups. So the Three of Clubs, we see the finely dressed man sitting perhaps in the back part of his house, the patio perhaps, and he's looking out into the distance. When we think about the Three of Clubs, or uh, for those that work with the Rider Waite, it may go by the name of the Three of Wands, we're thinking about our big picture. What is it that we want to do? Where are we headed next? What do we want to create and how do we want to bring into our life our passions, our enthusiasms, uh, our dreams and our hopes? And we we take note of what we want to accomplish and maybe we're trying to visualize it and in the beginning stages of this manifestation of this uh, beginning creation you have to see it first you have to visualize it and you have to do it every day so that it continues to build um, as if it's a part of your regular psyche and so we look at our future, we look at enterprise, perhaps we want to move to a new location, maybe we want to uh, incorporate some new skills or talents professionally, and maybe that requires pursuing some type of degree or certification. So the world is your oyster, and what is it that you want to do, and what is it that you want to build, and how do you want to lead your life? It all comes down to this vision and to thinking about what's next for me. Do I bring my colleagues along? Are we going to start our own little business consulting? You know, are we, am I going to do this alone? Am I going to expand my business overseas? You know, there's sometimes an international uh, component to this three of clubs as well. But it is the big picture. It's the vision of, of what you want to do with your life. And this can happen at any time, at any place. You don't have to be finished with the projects that you're doing now. You can always think about your vision. You can write it down. You can create a vision board. You can, you know, dictate on your recorder on your phone. This is what I plan to do. This is what I will be doing by so-and-so date. So with this three of clubs, here we have another three card. We have the three of cups. And we see the women here with their cups. This is joyous. This is delight. This is festive. This is the chance to be with people to talk and engage. And that is a pillar and a hallmark of, I think, good health, which is to have interactions with others, to share, to listen, to communicate, to commiserate, whatever it may be, that you, uh, you know, that you can raise a glass, you can count your blessings, or you can curse your boss, whatever it is, you know, you have the energy of others with you. So enjoy what that brings to you. It puts a smile on your face, hopefully. Maybe, maybe there's some sad stories to be told. Maybe there's some tears, but you know, it's the community. It's being with your own community, whether it's your work pals or your family or your friends that you don't see, there's warmth and there's energy and energy to be gained by being with others. So enjoy this Three of Cups, which is meant to spend time with friends and talk, listen, and share. So with these two threes, Three of uh, Clubs, the big picture, and the Three of Cups of getting together, here we have the Five of Cups. And we see the man here, he is... Uh, looks like he's holding on to a cup. There's a cup on the ground and there's some spilled cups. And yes, 
The water can't get back into those cups. It's over. There's a sense of the Five of Cups. There's regret. There could be disappointment. There's something perhaps that you're, maybe you're stuck on and that you can't, you can't let it go. And you're thinking about it and it's, maybe it's playing a, you know, it's playing a headspace game on you, which makes you feel like rattled. And so the Five of Cups is always an interesting card because we've all felt disappointment. We've all felt, you know, grief, the loss of something that either brought us pleasure or was a part of our routine, a part of our expectations. This could be that perhaps something didn't work out the way that you had hoped it would. If you're single and dating someone, maybe you didn't get the, the news that you wanted. Uh, but it's, it's acknowledging the sense of loss. It's acknowledging the disappointment. It's acknowledging and processing the regret. If you live in this place where you're focused on what has spilled, it's going to be tough for you to evolve spiritually. It's tough, going to be tough for you to move on, to find some peace. You know, it's going to be something that sticks in your craw and sticks in your heart. So with the five of cups, you know, take it for what it is something didn't work out for you there's a sense of loss there's a sense of sadness perhaps grief but ultimately you have to put it past you you have to let it move on and you move forward and moving forward by focusing on your hopes and your dreams moving forward by getting support from your community, from your dear friends, and finding the good in this situation, which is what is still left standing, is to focus on counting your blessings and what you can do with what you have right now. Again, in life, it's how we think, it's how we approach the scenarios, the difficulties, the blessings, everything that we have, it's about perspective. And it's about understanding your role and how you're going to get through these things. And sometimes sadness or regret or loss, it may not be fixed overnight. It may take some time and meditation and some work and some counsel perhaps. But ultimately, you know, you, you get to a better place because the sun keeps shining every day. Well, the sun rises every day. How's that? The, the sun here hasn't been around too much where I live. So, uh, but you know what I mean by that. And it's reducing life to the simplest elements, which is be grateful for being alive. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for the connections that you've made. Be grateful that you can think and dream and desire for what you want to build and what you want to achieve. So interesting cards for the day. Let's take a look at the numerology. We have two threes and that's six and six and five is 11. And how fitting on this day that we have the master number 11, which is about service. It's about altruism, generosity of self, of spirit, of helping others. However you help, whether it's visiting a nursing home and, and spending time with seniors who are lonely, or helping children learn how to read, or donating, making a donation to a community center. So many ways to help and it is rewarding and it is important it's an important part of the world at large which is the giving and receiving so let's choose an oracle card let's see what we have in terms of a message for the day
Facing Fear, Kali Ma. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So facing fear, you know, getting through the challenges, walking into the unknown, leaving, uh, you know, or, or um, moving forward in the dark on your own spiritual journey. So, uh, very interesting, facing fear. Sometimes we let fear win, and sometimes we, we surrender to fear. And we never know what's on the other side of that. And perhaps, you know, it's the regret. I wish, I wish I had done this when I was younger. I wish I had pursued that acting career. But I didn't, and now... You know, and now I feel this sense of five of cups, you know. So friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, subscribe, like this video, share this video. Please leave a comment and have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.